my country is the Cook Islands. It's a micro state. There's only 15,000 resident population. There's only 240 square kilometers of land area, but spread across 2 million square kilometers of ocean. So uh, it's quite a unique little country. It's um, quite highly vulnerable. It's uh, susceptible to natural disasters. We, we have tropical cyclones, but we also have a very narrow economic base which is uh, based upon tourism and financial services. So in two, two respects, uh, we're highly vulnerable. Aid um, only represents, well, it represents 9% of GDP. Um, but the vulnerability and the, ex and the, the fact that um, we're still a developing country, we need uh, access to grants and concessionary loans to meet our investment needs. So uh, aid is, um, it, it's, uh, it's important to us to, to do the little extra things to make, uh, to, to reach the development objectives we want. But we, we're an interesting country to a certain extent. We're classified as a middle income, but uh, it's that vulnerability aspect. If, uh, if we get hit, if the tourism industry gets hit or a natural disaster occurs, the, the economy just drops very rapidly. So uh, that's particularly important, probably the most important um, aspect that aid serves for us. First of all, we got involved in the Paris Declaration evaluation in spite of not having much capacity to do this work or be involved in the work, simply because we're so small that uh, the world doesn't listen. Or, you know, the development partners tend not to listen. We are often at the end of the queue because we're so small. So we got involved for selfish reasons. One, we wanted a robust evaluation of uh, aid effectiveness in our country that we could present and um, encourage our development partners to do things better, but also to help us improve our own uh, systems and our own uh, absorptive capacity. So uh, for selfish reasons, but <clears throat> I must say that um, being part of the global evaluation for us is seen as a bonus. It's been quite very, it's been very enjoyable, very informative being part of the, 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 the global process. One of the aspects, one of the positive aspects about the evaluation for us was um, the fact that we're small. So our sample sizes are quite large. In fact, if we look closely, you might find that our sample sizes in proportion to other countries are a lot larger. So the sort of the depth of the information we can get and robustness is perhaps more is stronger than other countries, but um, being small also meant that we can get out there and build awareness of what it's about. Um, we can speak to more more people. Um, coverage is better. Um, but I think the the findings are um, uh, certainly revealing that um, things can be done better. Um, we can get better performance out of donors. Um, we have a country where we have sound, we're parliamentary democracy. We have uh, some of the most uh, advanced public uh, financial management systems in the region, Pacific Island region, which therefore the, uh, you know, the movement towards things like budget support should certainly be faster than, than what's happening at this point in time. And we're in the midst of discussions on budget support with the EU at this point in time, so it's looking pretty positive for us.